back in the world right live from another planet. Please like, share, and subscribe, and ring that little bell. Ring that little bell so you're notified when new videos drop. So they say they say no news is good news. That's what they do say. Uh, uh, not so much if you're if you're a uh, a YouTuber with a bit of a a penchant for Doctor Who. There is no news. Absolutely no news coming out, Carter, which is, blows my mind. There's an eight episode season coming. Uh, uh, reportedly this year, I mean, I would have thought. I mean, the rumor is like uh, it's September. You know, so it, 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 there is a season coming. They're working on a, an awful season on Doctor Who. Uh, uh, is there anything to say to build up excitement? Really, and like nothing at all. I mean, don't you remember when uh, uh, Rusty Davis uh, 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 ran Doctor Who? We used to have these single production notes each week, uh, each month in Doctor Who magazine. Uh, uh, nothing, absolute nothing. I, I just get a feeling. They're not that interested, <laughs> right? That's just my basic impression. So, you know, uh, 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 us Doctor Who fans, we've got to find our own entertainment. That's what we're going to say. So, uh, uh, I spoke about, um, what was that, a week or two ago about the new Avengers, uh, new, new, not new Avengers, new adventures, uh, an era of Doctor Who that's pretty much uh, uh, slipping into myth. It's being forgotten. It's kind of like, you know, the... Uh, um, a lot of the lost stories that, that are no longer lost. You know, they were in the 80s and I they were slipping into myth. And so that it's, it's the same with this era of the uh, uh, of the new adventure. So I, I want to re, you know, redress that balance again in the news vacuum that we're living in. I want to redress that balance. Do a bit of a book of the month club with... Um, Doctor Who New Adventures. I found where you can can where, uh, where, where, where you can read it online. I've got my copy here. We're starting with with I, I think one of my favourites. Uh, one of my I'm not I'm not sure if it is my favourite. Uh, the Left Handed Hummingbird, an absolute classic, an absolute classic by Kate Orman. It's her her debut novel. I got to email her and see if she'll come on the channel and talk about it as well. Uh, 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 but really, it's an absolute classic. I found where you can read it online. It's uh, available It's available you know, in a bunch of places. It's going to be in the video notes. The link to the video notes is going to be in What we're going to do, I'm going to talk about the my impression of it because I haven't read it for uh, over 20 years. I mean, maybe 25 years. It's been a long time since I've read this book, but it did. It made a, bit, uh, a big impression. We're gonna, a big impression on me. We're going to read the review of it uh, from the time, which I believe is spoiler-free uh, from, from Doctor Who magazine. And then, and then next week, next week we will do a, uh, we'll do a what was it video? Maybe I'll get get a panel together, and we'll do the first like few chapters. The book's like, uh, is it two hundred and fifty or pages? It's not long, so yeah, we'll do about 50, 60 pages a week. That's about four or five chap four or five chapters, uh, uh, you know, a week. And we'll, we because the reason the reason to uh, uh, spend longer on these books is because. Uh, they're so much more rich and detailed than than your average TV episode, and so I think it's worth uh, 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 breaking it up and really, really looking at it in detail. Because again, it's just such an exquisite, absolutely exquisite piece of work. Before we get into it, can I ask you guys? Can you hit the like button? Uh, uh, that'd be great. And yeah, I, I, I like to be liked. <laughs> can you hit the share button? Can you hit the subscribe button? If you're subscribed, make sure you're still subscribed. Uh, uh, YouTube, uh, uh, not my biggest fan. I'm glad for the platform, but they're not my biggest fan. Uh, uh, and they, I think on the last day, they took away, what, 12 subscribers, 20 subscribers? A lot. It was a lot. I was like, what? Wait, what? So uh, uh, if you're subscribed, make sure you're still subscribed. And if you could consider hitting the subscribe button, that'd be great. That'd be really, really nice. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, and of course, uh, and of course, uh, uh, if you want to be super, super nice. Uh, oh, boy, another thing you can do. Uh, this is also super nice. One other thing I was going to say. If you want to be super nice, uh, 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 comment. Comment. The algorithm likes your comments. They eat them up. They go, nem, 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 nem. I like a bit of comments. But you want to be super nice, uh, go check out my Indiegogo. Go, go check out my go go i really i want to wrap this up uh, uh, soon i just got the uh, the raw artwork back for the final piece to to end to end the campaign so i think that's one of the big building blocks we need to to uh, uh, end up this campaign i got to get myself booked on a bunch of shows to uh, uh, give, give it give it a big finish you know if you excuse the pun uh, give you know, give it a big finish. Uh, uh, so yeah, look, these are two freaking awesome graphic novels. Uh, if you buy both of them, you get all these extras. You get the for the male gaze cards, uh, six cards based on my twelve year old titillations. Uh, and you know, I think they, I think they're more uh, quite generally titillated to most people. We have a James Bond one, of course. So keep the British end up. We have Space nineteen ninety nine Party Like It's nineteen ninety nine. We have Judge Dreddy one in. Uh, don't even think it, citizen. Please don't even think it. Uh, uh, we have uh, no. Hanky Panky and the TARDIS. No, Hanky Panky and the TARDIS. Uh, my personal favourite. And then uh, uh, I'm sensing strong emotions, Captain. Sensing strong emotions, Captain. Uh, but, you know, the final one, the final one which I just did because I love you so much is The Forces Female. The Forces Female. And it's so wonderfully female. Uh, once we hit eight grand, we just we just went over, we're about... 
Uh, we just went over seven grand. Well, see, eight grand. Everybody gets his poster. Right now, it's an add-on. It's uh, um, A2, which is like 18 by 22. It's a nice size poster. Uh, you get this one. It's another add-on. Unless we hit 12 grand, everybody gets it as well. Uh, uh, the eyes have it. And then we have this other poster. Great balls of fire. And the final poster, Forever Young, will be, uh, be being revealed, I think, tomorrow night. That's my guess. I think tomorrow night. Uh, and then we will uh, we will start our, uh, you know, our, our trench run. <laughs> our trench run to finish that campaign. Fine. So let's talk about the left-handed hummingbird. Let me first uh, pull up the uh, the cover. Look at that cover. Isn't that, isn't that wonderful? Absolutely wonderful cover by, by Pete, Pete Wallbank. I think it's one of the strongest covers from the uh, um, uh, New Adventures. Uh, and it's a really interesting book. It's a really... Uh, I don't want to use the word adult book, but that's what it felt like at the time. It well, it it, it really had Doctor Who uh, taking some very very adult themes and dealing with it in a uh, realistic and, and mature way. It, it's essentially uh, a battle against uh, uh, between the Seventh Doctor and uh, unhinged psychic entity uh, from uh, uh, from the Aztec era in Earth. Right? That's a, that's essentially what it is. Uh, um, but it, you know, it goes across all of time, space, and reality. But this is, as I said, Kate Allman's uh, debut novel. It's a real tragedy that she vanished, right? It's a real tragedy that she vanished in, in, you know, into the ether. Uh, I'd love to interview her. So he, here's the interesting thing about Kate Allman. I remember in the in the 90s, which, which is when, when this was coming out, uh, uh, she was very, very, very radically feminist, right? Very, very, very feminist. Uh, uh, so I wonder what she takes of the world today, right? What's it? Which is, I, I, has it, like, caught up with her or has it overtaken her, right? I, I really don't know. Um... It it, 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 it will be interesting to see. All right, let's read the uh, uh, the review from Doctor Who magazine. Where was this Doctor Who magazine? By the way, I'm also going to put up a a, a, a link to the this thing called a prelude. This is something you should do in Doctor Who magazine. Let me just pull this up. Look at this. Look at this cover for Doctor Who magazine. This is from '93, issue 207. Uh, it's uh, Alistair Pearson, but it's like a fold around cover. Awesome. It's got it was a gate cover, so there's like more monsters on here. Uh, this was Doctor Who magazine when it was good. And it was only how many pages? Like 50 pages long. Uh, 50 pages. 50 pages that basically interested me. As opposed to now, it's 100 pages that don't. So they did this thing called a prelude to Doctor Who magazine at the time. I'm going to say it. I'll give you a link where you can read it online. Uh, it's a really interesting little story. And look, it's got great artwork by Phil Bevan. Or, you know, of, or blessed memory, even I don't know. Phil Bevan was a great fan artist, right? Um, it, it's a really interesting story where... Uh, you, uh, where there's a woman, I think she's caught uh, held in a unit facility or some kind of dodgy facility because um, she's pregnant with a psychic baby, right? <laughs> it's, it, that, that's the kind of vibe it is. And they want to experiment her or, or study her or something. And in, in the same facility uh, uh, is a strange unnamed alien uh, uh, who is obviously the the seventh doctor uh so yeah this uh, uh this l l yeah l little prelude is uh how the the pregnant woman goes in to see the doctor and there's something uh are using the doctor something living inside the doctor uh uh that's very 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 dangerous <laughs> let's use the doctor as a, you know as a conduit uh really really great story really great so again video notes is there right now i recommend it. and also i'm going to give you the notes for the actual book uh the book is divided into slices it says here let me just over here it's, uh, again fantastic book fantastic book uh big finish should just do this as a book on tape because it's out of print and again this era is just being forgotten and it's tr it's tragic it's absolutely tragic oh one second it's over here the 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 um uh is it's divided into slices uh so the first slice goes for uh goes up to page 77 i get which is essentially the first episode right so uh, it's the first six chapters being uh, prologue uh, Mexico not ten uh, not ten o chitilan yeah there's a lot of Aztec words you can't pronounce uh, nine tenths below the surface of chapter two chapter three Sun King uh, pronounced wheat wheat Zulu pot uh, pochli chapter four chapter five into the fire and chapter six instant zen so that's what we will be uh talking about in next week's show right in next week's show when we when we're going to be reviewing this uh, uh um uh you yeah, know reviewing this first section of the book and like doing a deep dive on it but let's do a uh, uh 
uh, read the review from Doctor Who magazine at the time. This was uh, Craig Hington was the review at this time. Here's the, here's the issue that it comes from, which will be issue uh, 208, right? 208. And look at this. It got all the um, uh, all the stuff from uh, more, more than 30 years in the in the TARDIS there. I tell you, for the for the wilderness years, there was a lot going on. That was a, that, that that was super exciting. <laughs> you know, it's funny. This was before the age of the you know the uh, uh, the age of big finish. Let's let's say, let's go to this review. Hopefully, it's spoiler free. Um, Close the vaults for, uh, for this month's books is uh, it's time to reach for the bookshelf. Okay, uh, left hand and hummingbird. December's Doctor Who uh, New Adventure is by uh, Antipodean uh, Kate, Kate Orman, I believe that means she's Australian, right? Uh, the first woman author in the range, uh, and in balance, I hope will be swiftly righted. Oh God, still back then as well. Uh, listen, meritocracy. Meritocracy is a good thing. Meritocracy is a very good thing. I, I don't care who's writing my 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 Doctor Who books. Uh, generally speaking, though, on my Doctor Who fiction or episode, generally speaking, though, I think Doctor Who works best when it's made for eight-year-old boys, uh, 11-year-old boys, yeah, eight-year-old boys, right? Uh, I think it's worked better, which means it's going to appeal mostly to eight-year-old boys, which means their talent pool is going to be skewed masculine. Doctor Who, because it's like, a, it is a, a, a very, um, uh, has a lot of femininity to it as well. He's, he's not you know, a testosterone-laden hero. Uh, has a strong female demographic, but like, go for uh, 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 equality of opportunity, which I believe we have. Uh, don't go for equality of outcome because then you get garbage uh, that's come by in, I say, I, I think in somewhat of a bigoted way. Um, so yeah, yeah, listen, she's, and she's a, such a good writer and it's so uh, uh, belittling making uh, making her be part of a quota. Uh, after an urgent sound by Christian Zotchil, uh, Avarez, the Doctor Ace and Bernie. See, I couldn't even remember what the crew was. They, they got so this is New Ace. New Ace is, is in this. Uh, New Adventures Ace. Um, she goes off and she fights in the Dalek Dalek Wars for a bit. So now she's like this, you know, butch warrior. And also, this is book three of a uh, future history cycle. You don't really need to know much about it. Uh, book one is uh, uh, Blood Heat, a really good alternate uh, story by oh, I can't remember his name now. Uh, I, listen, we'll, we'll go with that. But, but there's an alternative story where the Solorians took over the world uh, 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 in the Solorians, you know, in the in the Doctor Who story, the 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 Solorians, and you got like the remnants of the Brigadier and the Benton. And, but yeah, something funky is going on with time, and that's the ongoing thread throughout this cycle. Uh, you feel you 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 uh, you get a little bit a bit of that in this book, but not not that much. Uh, and, and it all wraps up in Paul Corn Cornell's No Future, where you find out who who the bad guy is. Who's uh, uh, shall we say he's he's meddling with time. Who could it be? I mean, honestly, I saw it coming out a mile, a mile away. Although there is great stuff when you do when you do finally get to uh, 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 that book. Um, fine. So he's uh, uh, he gets an urgent summons from Christian uh, Zocchio Alvarez, the Doctor Ace Bernice, arrived in Mexico City in 1993, which is the year this came out. Uh, there, uh, there they discover the first puzzle. Alvarez has met them twice before, and he has photographs to prove it. Furthermore, why, again, why would that be strange? The time travels. Furthermore, both his previous meetings uh, uh, with his uh, with the fellow time drivers led to murder and madness. Very soon, the Doctor Ace, uh, uh, the Doctor and Ace, are in 15th century Mexico to wander around the Aztec uh, Aztec civilization. It's really well done. That's one thing Kate Orman does really well. She did it also in the next book, uh, a set piece. She's very very good at uh, uh, very realistically uh, creating ancient worlds from uh, uh, um, antiquity. Uh, uh, so yeah, so the, I, again, 25 years since I read this, I still remember it being great. We're looking forward to rereading this. Uh, so to wander around the Essex uh, civilization while trying to discover the identity of the blue. Yeah, the uh, uh, nondescript, uh, uh, nondescript bad guy in this. Uh, a mind controlling evil that appears to feast on bloodshed. The doctor inadvertently falls it into a complex trap. Yes, and it's really calm man. I'm so excited now. It's really clever. The blue wants true existence, and the doctor is the means of salvation. Um, managing a partial escape. Uh, Oh, yeah, I guess a mild spoiler. Yeah, you you basically got 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 to know the doctors. The doctors go to escape, uh, managing a partial escape. Uh, oh, look at that! Uh, Fury from the deep. Uh, uh, the audio, uh, uh, I think, quite a bit better than the uh, uh, the 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 animated version that they they, they bought out last year. Well, that was not good, was it? 
Uh, the doctor returns to find Benny too has been uh, on the receiving end of the blue blues to uh, torments, facing a villain that can track them through time and seems to know their every move. The doctor travels back along uh, Alvarez's timeline, hoping to find the answer. Instead, he finds uh, insanity, murder. And the truth behind the Aztec bloodthirsty ways, a truth that Barbara White would, would never, have sus uh, never have suspected. Yeah, oh man, there's such a great, great scene in, uh, 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 the, the, in, in the Aztec section. <laughs> so, again, again that, might, that I don't want to spoil it for because it's so freaking good. Um, it, it also, by the way, if, if you read, read the prelude, again, the prelude is in the video notes. Um, the uh, uh, the uh, her, her use of prose in describing the the seventh doctor is really really perfect and painting a picture. Uh, hey, look, it's a short story. It's very very short. It's like I don't know fifty. What was it two three hundred words? It's not long. It's not long at all. Uh, uh, and 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 you get to see how good it's going to be. Uh, after 20 new adventure novels. Okay, that's not, but let me, let me, that's an aside which I want to talk about. This is the, uh, so they were where, two, three years into the new adventures by this time, and they had found their identity. They had found their voice, and that voice was so well uh, realized from, uh, as, uh, by, by Kate Allman. Kate Allman is the voice of the new, uh, new adventures, I think, to, to a great extent. Uh, uh, and that's why I think this is a great one to start with. Again, if this is something that, 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 that you're new to, I'm, I'm envious of you because it's so exciting. Uh, after 20 uh, new adventure novels uh, covering most of the science fiction uh, fantasy genre, Orban has finally managed to fill in a major gap, delivering a, a psychological horror story, a tour de force of tension and fear that puts uh, 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 every one of our regulars in real danger. Yes, absolutely does. And you and and because she's so good at writing them uh, and making them real, making them into you know three dimensional people, uh, 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 you actually the, the uh, you care about them and the uh, the danger they're in. Uh, is very very compelling. Poor old Ace and Benny have been through uh, you know, uh, uh, through the ringer on a number of occasions, but these were just minor irritants compared to their uh, treatment here. The doctor, uh, the high-minded doctor, takes on the enormous uh, takes on, uh, takes enormous risk because of his confidence and his uh, and uh, his confidence in superiority. Pride comes before a fall. Yeah. <laughs> uh, since we are following uh, uh, following many of the supporting cast backwards through their uh, lives. Auburn had a difficult task of maintaining reverse continuity. I don't remember this, but I don't remember it being a problem. As she manages, uh, but she managed it with the prop prom uh, from the uh, shattered uh, Alvarez to the bitter Macbeth, uh, Urswell, uh, Urswell unit member taking in uh, uh, the 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 host of of minor players in ancient Mexico. Six is London, and a certain ocean ocean liner. Each one, uh, yeah, yeah, each one of them convinces, however, uh, yeah, however brief their appearance. That's very, very true. Uh, Orman has definitely done her research. Yes, that's very, very much so. Uh, not only into the ways of, of the asset, but also into the uh, into popular drug culture. Well, you know, <laughs> that one doesn't sound like too, you know, too much of a stretch to, to research uh, uh, into, into a research, but not only in, in a way, but into a popular drug culture. But nowhere does the book read like a history lesson. No, you feel like you're in the Aztecs. And it's really, that's something I loved about this book. I got, I got a feeling of what it was like to be there. I have no idea if she did it you know, accurately, but whoa, she convinced me that she did. Um, she had a, fr a fresh, bright style that, that whips the, the reader along uh, from one uh, from one fright to another. I know I never let Betty near one of my frying pans read the book. I have no clue. Can't remember that at all. Again, 25 years. Um... The only criticism that could be level of the book lies with the frequent drug taking. Uh, I, 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 I think I could be on board, uh, uh, but that uh, uh, that criticism won't be coming from me. Okay, well, the, well, Craig, Craig, mate, Craig, if you're not, if that's not a criticism for you, why are you? Why, okay, fine, whatever. Uh, yeah, look, the the new adventures were. Um, uh, they dealt with much more adult uh, adult things. I mean, it, 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 if you've never heard, and I really recommend if you haven't, uh, Rusty Davis's uh, uh, the adaptation of Rusty Davis's uh, Damaged Goods, which came from the end of the reign. Um, you 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 get you get a feeling of what what this Doctor Who is like. Uh, but the criticism won't be coming from me. The Doctor takes a, a, a trip using magic mushrooms. Yeah, but it's really it, it's not recreational, and it makes a lot of sense in there. And you know. Uh, uh, future books I like to do is um, 
uh, well, uh, was it Blood Heat, which I which I mentioned, which is uh, I can't see for this, but also Transit, which is uh, Ben uh, uh, Aranach's, uh, I would say, reasonably seminal uh, novel about a transit system. Uh, you, know, a, a, you know, a future transit system and you know, invading alien entities. Uh, uh, but yeah, again, it deals with like drug culture as well to uh, see things beyond the the realm of of, of you know linear time. Uh, groups of hitting smoking pots and smoking pot and taking out a state. Okay, uh, these are things that that, uh, that happen, and nowhere does Kate Orman either praise or condone the behaviour. Yeah, I mean, it's really it's not it's a it's a non question. It's a non it's it's, it's a non thing. You know, I wouldn't worry about that. Uh, the Left Hand of Hollingburg is one of the most is is the most adult new adventures yet. And when I say most adult, it's not like violent. There, there were uh, new adventures that had quite you know excessively uh, violent and uh, sexual. Uh, you know, sexual, sexualized, but it was done in a. Uh, this was the way it was done in the most uh, adult way, and then when that was layered and intelligent, um, uh, and the most gripping. Okay, okay, I, I agree with you. Uh, this is how they should be. Uh, this is how they should be taking risks with uh, while telling a uh, while telling a damn good story. Here's the case. Next one, and his next one was also a very good set piece, which I, I guess we'll do as well at some point. So there you go. So look. Join us. Join us. Uh, uh, I guess next week. Go check the video notes. Go check the video notes, and uh, so you so you can download a copy. If you if you have trouble getting it, I, I downloaded the PDF. Get in contact. I will send it to you. But check the video notes. You can you can grab it as a PDF from right there. Fantastic book. Fantastic book. And remember, we're reading the first slice, which is the first six chapters. Uh, prologue. Uh, New York, December nineteen eighty, with a great uh, cameo of uh, of of uh, John Lennon. Mexico, not uh, uh, Tenochtitlan. Uh, nine tenths below the surface. Chapter two. Chapter three. The Sun King. Chapter four. Uh, pronounced Wheat Zulu Pochli. Uh, chapter five. Into the fire. And chapter six. Instant Zen. So that's the first. Uh, I think 75 pages. First 75 pages. Uh, you can read that by next week. <laughs> read it by next week. And we will do a deep dive on it. And again, you haven't read this before. I am jealous of you because this is freaking awesome. This is Doctor Who at its absolute best. And uh, uh, you know what? I just think this is an era that deserves never to be forgotten because it was fan freaking tastic. My name is Cena Beckon. The you rabbi from another planet. Please like, share, and subscribe, and ring that little bell. Ring the little bell so you're notified when new videos drop. Yeah.